What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today I am here at Step Thrift. I haven't been here in a long time, and normally when I walk in here, I usually find something very profitable. So hopefully we can keep that streak going, and let's go in here and see if we can find some profits, profits, and more of those profits, baby. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Dante. Did a little bit of time in prison. Shh, don't tell nobody. But we are out here, and we are trying to make a living doing what we do, and that is going to random thrift stores, Goodwills, Walmarts, and make money and find those profits. And it is loud outside so let's go in here and see if we can find some profits baby you know the name of the game let's go as i mentioned before i have come to this thrift store before normally find some good items out of here and when you initially walk in you do see the cds and games so i noticed these games and immediately saw the sonic i thought it would be valuable so i want to put it to the side did a little bit more browsing before i wanted to scan the items because i just want to make sure if i see anything else go ahead and get it so i can just scan everything at one time that way i feel like i'm saving time so i'm looking to see if anything else stands out to me and i don't so i want to go ahead and scan these items to see exactly what they're worth upon finding out this is going to be a 20 dollars profit item go ahead and put that in my buggy and then we continue to look at other items this game not so profitable after i open it up and check and see if it's in there but upon scanning this item i do realize that it's not worth my time so i go ahead and put this item back it is not going to be item that i'm going to get today because we are here looking for those profits so we continued looking around just to see if i can find something i do want to scan the dvds because i know some games can be found in the dvds at times so this game tiger woods not so profitable but it is a game it's out of place it's not with the other games i do see the scary movie dvd and normally scary movies do pretty good so i wanted to grab it and i also check for sealed games and dvds as well i see this dvd that's sealed so i want to go ahead and just put it to the side as I continue looking and seeing if I could find. I found something else that was sealed. Wanted to go ahead and look at this item as well. It intrigued me because it was only $1.99. So yeah, that was pretty good. When I looked it up and saw the profits, I saw that it was profitable. So yeah, that was a strike immediately found some good items walking in the store i've only been here for literally three minutes and i've already found an 80 dollars profitable item so the fact that i can just come in and make 80 dollars immediately not too bad i know the item has to sell but i'm going to go ahead and keep going through all of these dvds sometimes it's going to take a little bit of time i know you don't want to see all that but this is the life of a reseller got to go through and try to make sure that i'm thorough so i'm not really missing anything because i want to make sure that i can get all the profits that i possibly can especially if i'm going to be looking in dvds because there's sometimes a lot of DVDs and games behind other DVDs because how the employees stack the games. But I didn't find anything else. Wanted to go ahead and scan the DVDs that were actually sealed because I love sealed items, especially DVDs. Come to find out, not profitable at all. Only selling for like around $4. That's what other sellers are selling for. So I know it's not even worth my time. Then I look at the Free Willy DVD and see that it's only selling for like around $9. I could make some profit there, but it's really not worth my time. I saw Edward Scissor's hands and wanted to just go ahead and give it a double take. But let's go ahead and walk around the store to see if we can find some more items for profit. This is when I just really browse around. I kind of skip the clothing because I don't really do clothing unless I'm in a yard sale or an estate sale. But I do know that this place has a bunch of toys in these random bags. Now, sometimes it can be annoying going through all these bags, but you can also find a lot of profit in these bags as well. I have actually purchased some of these bags in the past and some of the items that I've purchased have sold. So. Be on the lookout for these bags because they sell them similar in Salvation Army as well. It's where they'll put a bunch of random products inside of a bag and you can get them anywhere between $2.99 to $7.99. It's really good deal sometimes because they don't know what they're throwing in the bags. They just throw some random items in the bag and something could be a gem that somebody's actually looking for on eBay. So just make sure that you're browsing through these bags, even though it can be a little bit time consuming, but sometimes it can take time to make the best profits. But we move on to the next section and we see the board games. You know, guys, I used to love board games. Not so much anymore, just because I've learned that they are a little bit bulky when you collect a lot of the board games. They do sell, but not as frequently as I like to. So now when I come to looking for board games, I'm looking for special board games and seeing if something is really actually sealed. I like sealed items and newer items anyway. So normally when I come through the board game section, I just want to see if something is actually sealed. So no luck this time. So I'm going to continue walking around the store and see if I can find something that's going to stand out to me. This item right here it out to me immediately just because it was an interactive system and it was a kid's toy normally these do pretty decent especially for the price that they are you can find a lot of cheap toys in these thrift stores so far it's looking like a $15 profit not too bad so I'll go ahead and put it in the buggy and see if it's something I want to take at the end of the day when I came around the corner I saw this WWF attitude ring immediately I wanted to look at it because it said WWF and WWF is exclusive anytime you see something WWF that means it's automatically finished 
vintage because it's no longer WWF. It is actually WWE. So normally when you see WWF, just know that item probably will sell because a lot of collectors would like to have anything WWF in their collection. So I'm going to go ahead and get this item and put it in my buggy because when I looked it up, you can see it's anywhere between a $40 and $50 profit and that's on the very low end. So we're going to go ahead and continue looking around. I am going to look at some baby stuff too just because, you know, obviously your boy had a baby and <laughs> I just can't stop looking at baby items when I come to these thrift stores now. I wish I knew about plush. I really don't know too much about plush. I try to get into plush, but sometimes, you know, when you don't know something, that's not a bad thing because you do know things in other areas. And I just really want to stay in my lane. So when it comes to plush, I just browse through the plush. If I see anything that kind of stands out to me, I'll grab it. But if I don't, I just keep it moving because looking at plush, it takes a long time. So when I keep looking, I do see these glasses. I felt like I ran into these glasses at another thrift store in my past and I just didn't buy them for some reason. So I want to go ahead and look and see why I didn't buy those items. Sometimes my OCD kicks in and I just want to make sure that I'm looking at an item four and five and six times. I don't know why I do that. Sometimes I'm even looking at an item and checking the comps and I'm staring at the comps for about five minutes. And that's no exaggeration. Sometimes it's going to be longer than five minutes, but that's just my OCD kicking in sometimes. So when I do decide to go ahead and look up these glasses and find the profit margins, it comes to me that I probably just don't want to buy them all. So I do see these little coffee mugs that are Garfield that I'm going to go ahead and purchase. They are $1.99. I really don't like that price for these mugs, but I think I can clear a $15 profit if I sell them together. So I'm going to go ahead and get just these two mugs and nothing else. At times when I'm in these thrift stores, I see things that just stand out. This looked pretty cool, like an old statue, but it wasn't. It was new, more modern, and it just looks like it was antique. So I went had to leave that behind. So you can see me just doing what I do best, and that's scanning items. That's what you have to do. Walk around. If you see something that looks profitable, pick it up. I personally like having items that have UPC codes. So when I pick up the UPC code, all I have to do is actually scan that barcode. If I do see something, I will look that item up by just typing it in. And right now you can just get a look at me being quizzical, trying to find some items for profit. It does look like it can get boring sometimes because it can like any job. I think no matter what job we do in life, we're going to hate it just a little bit, even though I love thrifting and I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. Sometimes it can and be like, oh, can I find something else? Even though I found a good item already. Sometimes we want to get a little bit greedy and we want to see if we can find maximum profit. And that's what I want to try to do right now. I want to try to find maximum profit. I've gotten into a lot of plates lately. So I recommend guys check out plates. Don't skip out on those plates. One of the first items I got into reselling was DVD and VCR combos. That really intrigued me how those things were still selling like crazy. So I used to sell a lot of those. Next to the DVD combo though, I did see this item that was in this case. I thought it was gonna be a completed item, but it didn't seem totally complete to me. And when I looked at it, it just didn't seem like it would be as profitable as I wanted it to be. Even though you do see people are trying to sell this item for $55, it looks like it was missing like the main piece to me. I don't know. I looked in every single pocket and I just wasn't sure. Maybe if I would have broke this down and bought it piece by piece because they do have a lot of memory cards in here that I probably could have sold, but I just didn't really want to do it. So I just decided against it and was like, yeah, I might be going to sell this item. Even though, again, when you see that people are trying to sell it for $55 and the price of this item, I believe was like around seven bucks. It could be a good profit margin, but to me, it just seemed like a piece of it was missing. So I wanted to go ahead and just put it back. No need to take unnecessary chances if we don't have to, especially if something we can sell and may cause a return. So I wanted to go ahead and come back and look up the DVD combo. I always make sure that I look at the model number, type in the model number, and then I will get the price of the DVD player. And as you can see, they do have some decent sold comps, $40, $79. That sounds pretty good to me. And you can see that they sell consistently. Even the ones that don't have remote control sell pretty decently. So for me, I like that. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this item because I think it'll sell fairly quickly. I did stop selling these a while back because I did get a lot of returns on these, but I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on this one. I'm going to take it home, make sure that it does work. And then I will make sure I put it up on eBay and hopefully it will sell within a few weeks. Next, I run across this Xbox 360 controller. They only want $2.99 for it, so I'm probably definitely going to get it. It doesn't come on right now, so the batteries are probably dead because it feels like it has batteries in it. And then right next to it, I see this PS3 that they want $9.99 for. I don't have a PS3 in my collection, but I also want to see what the resale value is for a PS3. I know I can probably get around $50 for it, so I'm going to go ahead and get it. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Xbox 360 controller as well. I mean, why not? It's only $9, and then the PS3 is only... 
$2.99. I think I already have enough profit to pay for both of these items. So I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This is a small example of how every reseller is different. You can see this Clydesdale plate. It is selling for around $18 to $19, but I don't think I'm gonna purchase this item. There really aren't any sold comps. So another seller might wanna take a chance on it, but I am not. So I'm gonna leave it behind. And then this Barbie plane, I actually sold two of these Barbie planes before in the past. If you remember, I got one at the best yard sale ever. And now I see one here today but they want $19.99 for this thing. It is dingy if you could look and see the top of it. So I don't think it's worth $20. Even if I was a reseller, maybe I would try to sell it for $20 myself. So that definitely is not a profitable item for me, even though I know these things will sell probably like hotcakes because they normally sell fairly quickly, but them wanting $19 is not gonna happen. On my way out, I am gonna walk by the sneaker aisle just to see if I see anything. I love Nikes, and anytime I see any Air Maxes, I make sure I look at them because I know the resale value is really good. Those are females and they're smaller, so the resale value is just eh, it's really not that good. I could make profit, but not the profit that I'm looking for. So I wanna continue walking around, looking at the shoes. And then to my surprise, I ran across these Giannis Antetokounmpo shoes that I didn't even know were Giannis Antetokounmpo shoes. I saw the fruit on the side of the shoe and just the color caught my eye. A lot of things catch my eye and that's when I go for the resale. So when I saw these shoes and I saw they were Giannis's, I figured they could be worth some money, but when I looked it up and saw the price that they were selling for, I'm not going to lie, guys, it blew my mind. Cannot believe this shoe is selling brand new for over $130. And then some people are buying them for $75 or used. So I know the shoe is worth some money. Immediately grab it and put it in the buggy. We don't pass go. We don't collect $200. Found two items that I know is going to be pretty decent and it's going to be well worth my time coming at this thrift store i've been in here for roughly around 45 minutes or so and that is a long time but i wanted to kind of take my time and come thrifting and make sure i can find some really good items and just take my time with the items that i did look up because again the ocd kicks in sometimes and you know your boy be looking at an item for 30 minutes i did come back by the dvd aisle because i did see them restock and i saw all these sex in the cd dvds that are worth absolutely nothing they have almost all of the seasons and sadly they are only worth like around four or five dollars a piece on ebay that is and they want like a dollar 99 per dvd and that's just not going to cut it because we can't make any money off these dvds and this is where i ask you kindly please go ahead and smash that like button for your boy and subscribe if you're not if you're not currently subscribed as we go ahead and make our way to the checkout counter we spent a total of 33 dollars remember that 33 dollars today let's go home and see exactly all of the profits that we did get because your boy is excited and i think this is one of the best trips that i have had of this year to be honest not gonna lie that might have been the best trip that i've had coming here so yeah we're gonna go to the house tally up all these profits and then see exactly how much money we're gonna make off of these items i think we're i think we did pretty good let's go to the house and figure it out you can hear the birds chirping maybe you can maybe you can't but it's the next morning your boy has his cup of coffee let's go ahead and go over all the items that we grabbed we made some pretty good profits if i do say so myself i think we spent a total of 33 dollars maybe 30 dollars either 33 or 30 dollars not quite sure but you should see it because i believe i'll put it in the video but we spent we're gonna say 33 dollars and i should definitely make 33 dollars back plus a tons of profits so let's go ahead and go over all the items that we grabbed and see exactly what we grabbed and then what profit we're going to make off of these items so the first thing that we're going to have is going to be this interactive solar system that we paid two dollars and 99 cents for and on this interactive solar system i should make around 15 dollars we do see some sold comps of 29 dollars 14 dollars and 99 cents i paid three dollars for it so when i include shipping and everything like that 9 10 11 12 12 we should make again maybe eight to fifteen dollars on this item hopefully and not too bad not too bad for a start the next item we're gonna have is gonna be this wwf it is not ww E, this is WWF. WWF is the wrestling that started, or well, actually WWWF was the wrestling that started, but it's known for the most people in my era in the 90s as WWF. So whenever I see WWF items, I know that it's gonna be definitely vintage because if it has the F on it, it's definitely vintage. So this is actually a ring 
it is missing the ropes for the ring but when i do look inside there are a lot of the parts inside of here so as you can see like the ring pieces the ramp and all that i paid five dollars and 99 cents for this item when i look on ebay i see people are trying to sell the ring for 75 dollars, but they do have the ropes i don't have the ropes i paid six dollars for this item so hopefully i can get at least 30 dollars for it pre-owned i do see some people trying to sell some for 40 bucks pre-owned when i look at the soul comps i see some all over the place and mine is completely different from everybody else's but because it's wwf again that vintage f i'm gonna make I'm gonna make some kind of profit on it, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know exactly the profit that I will make. But again, we, we, what should I say? I'm gonna say at the very, very minimum, $25. So we're gonna say $25 plus the $15 profit that we had over there. So, so that's gonna be easily $40 profit that we are in already. I paid $33 for everything, so we are already in the profit, yes. The next item, as you can see right here, is gonna be this PS3. I paid $9.99 for it and one of the main reasons I bought this PS3 is because I currently do not own one and I want to own every game system for some reason and I want to find them while thrifting and I want to find them doing the best deals possible. So it is missing the cords and everything so I'm not going to include any profit but if I wanted to sell it there are sold comps where I can probably make like around $30 for the game system anywhere between like $30 and $45 especially how it is but if I went ahead and bought the cords which I can find the cords for really cheap like $2.99 so if I find the cords, I can easily sell this game system for probably like around 60 bucks. And I have some games that I can include with it. So I went ahead and grabbed it because you never know. You never know. But uh, yeah, so we're not going to include any profit. So we're just going to say we're still at $40 profit. And that's without including the PS3 because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might keep it or I might sell it, probably leaning towards the keep it part. Then next, we're going to have the Samsung VCR and DVD combo. So I got this item for $6.99, $6.99, not too bad. And I do see some sold comps on here for $59, $89, $84, $79, $55, $42, $49. $49. So we're looking like I'm gonna be able to sell this item for like around 50 to 60 bucks or so. So when I take away the profit margin, how much is gonna cost to ship, I'm probably gonna make like around $30 on this item. I'm going to charge the buyer shipping probably most likely. So I may make $40 on this item. So we're going to add it to our profit so far. So we're just going to start with profit on this. Cause remember we made $40 and all that stuff over there. I paid $33 for everything. So we're just going to start with $40 profit so far with the VCR and that's all profit. That's with fees and everything. And please keep in mind that when I do my profit margins, everything is always rough estimates. <laughs> so please keep that in mind as well. Rough estimates. The next item that we found are going to be the Giannis Antetokounmpo shoes. Uh, when I first saw them, they just stood out to me just because the color of them initially. And then I saw the fruit on the side of them. And I was like, well, why do they got fruit on the side of them? They are a little damaged right here a little bit. As you can see, they are not in perfect condition. So we do have to keep that in mind when we think about what we will sell them for. But these are Giannis Antetokounmpo shoes. And when I Googled them and looked them up in the store, I saw the price of $75, $119, $124, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129, $129,
I want one of every system, not two and three of them. So I could put it with that and increase the price of the system, or I can just sell it as a standalone and make at least $10 profit. So we're just gonna say $10 profit on the very low end. So we're gonna add that to our total, and that should bring us to $105, if I'm not mistaken, in pure profit. Because $105 is just the last three items that we talked about, and the first three items we're paying for the items that we actually paid for in the store, which is all of these items. The next item that we found is gonna be the Sonic the Hedgehog. You know that I like Sonic, and I went ahead and grabbed this game, $2.99. I'm probably gonna resell it, I will play it, I'm not even gonna lie, but on the resale market, this game is getting $24 easily, easily. Like, that's without question, I'll get $24. And then, I keep in mind that I always, 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 always charge shipping when it comes to selling my DVDs. Don't know why, I just do. I never really sell a free DVD. Maybe when I first started, but now I charge at least $2.99, or maybe, you know, I'll even customize my shipping sometimes. But yeah, for the most part, I'm charging some kind of shipping on these DVDs. So I'm gonna make at least $20 strong on this game. Cause like I said, everybody that I see is selling one for over 20 bucks. Yeah, $24.99, $24, 26 One did sell for $12.50 and that's because they put their thing on auction, which is crazy. Anytime you have a game that's probably gonna sell guaranteed or any item, make sure that we just put those items on buy now and just turn on your best offers. Cause if you turn on offers, then people can send you offers and you can decline them rather than just putting it on auction and it goes for whatever price they end up selling for. And you can kind of sometimes, you can sometimes lose out on money. So just keep that in consideration. Buy now is usually the best way because you can always turn on that best offer to receive offers that you are almost willing to accept as well. So yeah. Nice, that's pretty nice. So we're gonna add $20 to our $100 total. That's $125 so far profit that we made. Not too bad, I'm telling you. I'm pretty happy because we haven't even got to the best item yet. And then the next item that we have that we paid a whopping $1.99 for, Queer as Folk, the complete first season. Now, when I looked at the price for this, I was blown away. Brand new, the most recent soul count. $79.97. One before that, $64.49. The one before that, $99. Yeah, this DVD is brand new, sealed, the complete first season. Probably the steal of the day. Um, now, with the prices being all over the place, I will say this. I should be able to make at least $80 because I did see some people sell some for over a hundred. You know, that was a few months ago, but I'm going to make sure I go back and look and see exactly how many people are selling it right now and then probably go from there. But right now I'm thinking at least $65 profit, but that's on the low end. That's what me, it's been sitting for a few months and I'm finally want to take an offer that's probably less than what I'm probably gonna list it for. I'm probably gonna list it for like around $90 to be honest and then take my best offer of like around 85 or so. So that's probably gonna be the goal. Probably gonna list it for like around 85, 99 or 87 or actually I'm gonna list it for $88.88, turn on best offers and probably have free shipping on this because the profit margin is gonna be so great that it really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna make at least $70 on this item. So if I add that to the rest of the stuff, that's at least so far, we're just gonna say $200 profit already and we have a few more items left. $200 profit just off of these items that we have right here. $200 profit off of these items right here. And then finally, guys, we do have these glasses that I took a chance on. These are the McDonald's 1978 Garfield glasses. As you can see, Garfield and the Snoopy, 1978. I took a chance on them because they are so old. I left those other glasses behind. I did pay $1.99 for both of them. And when I look at comps, if I sell them both together, I may be able to stretch a little $15 actual profit. So that's gonna be the goal. Yeah, so when I look at them individually, I see that they can sell for like around $11 a piece. So if I put them together, I should be able to make at least like a $15 profit. That's gonna be my goal. Go ahead and sell them together as a lot. They're two different kind of glasses and you know, some people are collectors of these McDonald glasses and mugs. So if I sell them both together and again, try to maybe list them at $20 and then to have my best offer, if somebody send me an offer like $15 or so, I may take it, especially if I'm charging shipping because I'll probably charge shipping on that item as well. And you know, as long as I clear a $15 profit or so, I will be good. So definitely at least a $215 profit. And that's on the low end for all of these items that we found today, probably a little bit more. And I'm think, I can probably stretch 
close to the 280 mark but again i like going on the very low end just in case so we're going to say at least 220 dollars profit on all these items that's worthy of a sip of coffee I may have just drank a bug or something, who knows, but it's okay. Um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. And as you can see, I have on last year's Prison to Profit Convention shirt. Is that because we're about to have another Prison to Profit Convention? No, actually, it's just probably a random shirt that I picked out and I just happen to have this one on. So with that being said, there is another Prison to Profit Convention coming up this year, October 9th. Make sure to go get your tickets. Tickets will be in the description box below. You don't want to miss it. Yeah, go, 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 go get them tickets. We're going to have a blast this year. And you can see all the information when you go click that link in the box below. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not currently subscribed. But before you do anything, anything, yeah, before you even take a step, make sure that you bless somebody today, even though technically you may have to take a step before you bless somebody. So you know what I mean. Just make sure that you do blessings before you do anything else. Bless somebody today because I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay, I'm out.